All right, so here we are. You can just barely see the bottom of the container for the duck egg. I'm just going to roll up my sleeves. And I do have a separate container ready in case we do find something. There doesn't appear to be any strange smell. Inspecting the egg, I also don't see anything strange. The hole we used looks as if there's a scab over it, which is interesting in itself. If you've ever cracked a duck egg, you know that it's much stronger than your average chicken egg. In fact, you can see here that even though I've cracked the shell, I haven't pierced the membrane inside the shell. There we go. Just to show you again, there's nothing in my hands before we open this. Very similar to the results we received with the chicken egg. There is one chunk here that appears somewhat solid, but that's normal. Hmm. Nothing unusual. If you eat a lot of chicken eggs, you know that sort of thing can happen. Nothing strange, nothing that looks anything like the homunculi, homunculus developed in the videos. The smell, I would say, is mostly normal. It's just slightly off. So visually, my eyes don't detect anything different. Slightly different sense of smell, 
but that would be expected since obviously something was injected into the egg that wasn't originally there. As I said before, in the near future you'll see this same thing done with a incubated egg. But we also still have the goose egg down in the corner over there to open up very soon. But this has been part two basically of the homunculi idea experiment as seen in the original which there will be a link to at the beginning and here which was my original which will also link back to the original by Corny and several other people's uh, homunculi experiments. I hope you guys were curious before the egg cracked open. Sorry to disappoint anybody that was expecting something more than egg, but we tried. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get something more interesting when we open up the goose egg. I want to thank everybody who sent in this idea. And I want to thank everybody watching that was curious enough to take a look and that trusted me enough to... Uh, believe that my approach was worth your time as opposed to somebody who might fake it or exaggerate it. I promise whatever pops out of these eggs I'm not going to scream, I'm not going to freak out, I will stay completely level-headed and uh, if anything did come out of the egg it would be kept. Uh, not thrown away, flushed down a toilet, thrown out a window, crushed, anything like that. Uh, will remain level-headed, me and all of you. So once again Thanks, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all again when I open up the goose egg. Be sure to leave me any comments and critiques below. If it relates to the next one with an incubator that we're going to try, if you have any tips in advance before we delve into that, be sure to let me know. That way we can take those into account. Because once it goes into an incubator, it's kind of stuck in there. Thanks again.